Chelsea have won foot in the last 16 of the Europa League after beating Malmo in Sweden. Ross Barkley scrambled home an opener for the Blues before Olivier Giroud was on target again in Europe with a cute flicked finish. Nerves showed at the end as the home side pulled one back but Chelsea returned to London with the win they, and Maurizio Sarri, needed. Simon Johnson was at the Swede Bank Stadium to provide analysis for Standard Sport. A bit of heat taken off Maurizio Sarri the Italians' problems haven't gone away but at least he can sleep a little bit easier over the next few days. Beating Sweden's third-best team won't make amends for a 6-0 drubbing at Manchester City, but it's a start. Sorry under pressure to produce a result in Sweden. Chelsea FC via Getty Images, Sorry's position would have been in danger of becoming untenable had his side lost to a Malmo outfit playing their first competitive match for two months. It wasn't pretty, particularly in the opening 40 minutes as the energetic hosts pressed Chelsea into mistake after mistake. But once Ross Barkley put the visitors in front, some of the tension disappeared from their every touch. After the break, they played with a lot more composure and Olivier Giroud's effort to double the lead was the kind of sorry ball they showed earlier in the season. However, some of the careless defending that has been synonymous in recent weeks returned to gift the host so late goal and breathe some life back into the tie. The second leg should still be a formality for Chelsea and they will be looking to focus on the much tougher contest see their side of it, the FA Cup fifth round tie against Manchester United in the EFL Cup final versus Manchester City. That strike is the boost Barkley needed after a promising autumn. It has not been the best few months for Barkley at Stamford Bridge. There was a period where it looked the midfielder was fulfilling his potential having had a limited amount of appearances under Antonio Conte last term. The display in a 4-0 route at Burnley was particularly impressive and his confidence was also seen on the international stage as he helped England beat Spain. AFP, Getty Images, but for some reason, the former Everton star couldn't maintain the momentum and suddenly lost all self-belief. There were signs of a recovery against Huddersfield, only to have a disastrous display just four days ago, along with many others, at City. That is why his goal in the first half, albeit after a bad first touch from Pedro's cross, will surely work wonders. It was a crucial finish for the club too, ending their four-match drought in away games at the start of 2019. Chelsea fans failed to heed Sarri's warning that Chelsea coach had made it clear to the travelling support ahead of the contest that they had to behave but his plea fell on deaf ears. On the club's last trip in the Europa League before Christmas, anti-Semitic chants were heard coming out of the away end in Budapest. UEFA have opened disciplinary proceedings and the club, who will find out their punishment on February 28, could see Stamford Bridge partially closed in their next European game. The 1,000-strong group that had travelled from London were always going to be under scrutiny said it defied belief when they had an unseemingly skirmish with Malmo fans early in the first half. It looked like it began when Malmo fans threw plastic beer cups in their direction, but there was no excuse to do the same, especially under the circumstances. Police moved in to calm the situation down in the Malmo end, but it may have come too late to prevent UEFA from looking into the incident. Surely Callum Hudson ODOI will leave Chelsea if Sarri stays. Chelsea had to fight hard to keep the teenager from joining Bayern Munich last month, but it is only delaying the inevitable at this rate. The Blues turned down four bids in total, plus ignored Hudson O'Doi handing in a transfer request, in the hope that they could change the winger's mind. But going into this match, the winger had played just 13 minutes for the club since the transfer window closed and he started on the bench in Sweden too. There has been talk of minor injuries and illness, but it hasn't sounded very convincing. Even with Chelsea cruising when it was 2-0, he brought Eden Hazard and N'Golo Conte on before him. And Sarri left it till the 84th minute before giving him a token run-out, given the board are believed to be growing concerned over Sarri's decision not to select the England under-21 international. It is strange to say the least that the Italian isn't giving him more game time.